one of the biggest lessons that I've had, um, and it took a long time to realize what this was. Um, it took a long time to put into words exactly what had happened. And uh, I think for, for a very long time, I, um, you know, did what I thought I needed to do to be everything for everyone. Right. We, we all do it and uh, drop in the comments below if you're one of those people that burns the candle at both ends and then you're like, oh, what just happened? Um, because that's definitely me. But what I realized over the last probably two years or so, um, you know, I've been doing a lot of um, self-love, a lot of going within um, you know, there's been a lot of healing. Um, there's been a lot of change in my life over the last couple of years. And uh, I realized that, um, you know, I had dissolved many boundaries that I once had in order to keep others happy. Now, this might have been in business, this might have been in friendships, relationships, this might have been in parenting. I mean, God, there's so many different forms that it can be in, right? So I had dissolved so many parts that were incredibly important to me. Now, this might have been things that I love to do. Um, this might have been, um, you know, places I like to visit, people I wanted to hang out with, whatever right and um, dissolving those things about yourself and there's no particular thing as such um, but I think you know there's little snippets of your life and I know that there's certain um, you know conversations where you know I might have dissolved certain parts of um, the way that I felt in order to make sure that, you know, I didn't upset anyone, I didn't upset the conversation, you know, I didn't um, make the conversation about myself or, you know, and I think there's a lot of times that we do this where we don't go all in, we don't speak our truth because we're worried about what X, Y, Z in the corner is going to say, or we're worried about um, potentially hurting someone's feelings. So we shut down these parts of ourselves. We quieten these parts of ourselves in order to not upset people, right? Now, I'm sure that many of you that will watch this will know, or you'll be able to take yourself back to an exact space, time and location where this happened, right? Where you, you know, you squashed a part of yourself. Now, I realize that throughout life, um, you, you will have um, identities, you know, that other people give you. Now, it might be, you know, the, um, uh, oh God, I mean, put me on the spot. Uh, it might be things like, um, you know, the, the, the worker that just puts in all, all the time. It might be the mum, the super mum, right? It might be... Um, the partner that wears all of the hats, right? So at some point you've been given these identities and we live up to them because we feel as though we owe, right? We owe people something and we have to, um, I guess, keep that alive. We have to fill up that cup, right? Um, and what ends up happening is you, you really uh, suppress some of the things that you want to do or the person you want to become or the places you want to visit, the friends you want to hang out with, right? In order to keep other people happy. So what happens is you'll get to a certain point in your life where all of a sudden you've forgotten who you are. You've forgotten what you love. You've forgotten what you're about. You've forgotten what your favorite thing is because you're so used to filling up everyone else's cup before you fill up your own. Yes, comment below if you're this person. Uh, there should be plenty of hands up. I know loads of you I can see that are watching are these people, which look, it's not a bad thing. But what we need to understand is that these identities that we get, these identities that other people give us, we don't have to live up to those. We don't have to take them on board. We don't have to dissolve parts of ourselves in order to keep the peace we don't have to uh, stop speaking our truth we don't have to stop saying what's on our mind because we might offend 
this person over here. So I think that, you know, I, this is just one of those things where I was, I was listening to a book and, and they touched on this and I just went, wow, it's so incredibly true that you really, really, really need to, at those times where you're feeling not aligned, something's not right. Like your body's telling you, right? It's whether or not you, you're getting angry or anxious, right? Or you're feeling depressed. Something's not aligned. Are you trying to be too much for too many people? Are you trying to fill up everybody else's cup? And you're wondering why you are feeling so frazzled because you've literally stretched yourself out of, over so many different components of life right that all of a sudden your cup is completely empty everyone else's is full yours is completely empty right and you can't function running from that place so i really just wanted to bring awareness to this because it wasn't until i heard it spoken obviously it makes so much sense when somebody says it you're like oh, wow yeah that's totally me but I hadn't even processed this until I heard those words spoken. So I thought I would hand this gift on to you, which is literally, have you taken on identities that you haven't given yourself, right? You're living within those identities. You're fulfilling those identities every day, but they're not actually you. So it's like wearing a basketball jersey right? And this is directly out of the book that I was just listening to. It's like wearing a basketball jersey for a team of a sport that was your father's dream, that was your mother's dream. It's not yours. You're wearing the jersey because you need to be X, Y, Z. You need to win. You need to be a world-class basketballer but it doesn't feel right. It doesn't fit, right? So this is the thing, right? Is are you trying to mush yourself? Yeah, right? The square block into the, the round hole. Are you trying to fit yourself into places in life where it just doesn't feel right, right? So I just wanted to bring awareness to that because when I heard these words spoken, I went, oh, wow. You know, and so many times we take on identities that we don't have to wear. People can give these identities, that's totally fine, but you don't have to take them on board. So that was just something that I thought I would pass on. It may make sense to you, it may not, um, but honestly, we try and wear so many hats and we wonder why at the end of the day, our cup is not full or we're feeling frazzled or we've burnt the candle at both ends. And that's because we are literally taking on so many different things from other people and feeling as though we then have to go and be those people. So hopefully that was something that made even just one of you go, oh, wow, that's exactly right. Um, and uh, definitely I will share the book that I heard this out of so you can go and check it out for yourself.